promotion fund and resources. You got it, right? Yeah. So you can see this topic last, okay? First, mm -hmm. go for terms of ransom, okay? Yeah. Let me open up our account. Lot of theoretical, right, today? Yeah, and uh, <laughs> it seems like it's quite important. And uh, because without explaining this, I don't know, without explaining if no, that could console, we not have understood. That's the reason. I know. Okay. Might need to revisit the whole thing here. Yeah. Uh, let, let me summarize. I'll, you know, once we created this, let me summarize. Then you can, once you're done, right, we can summarize, then you can understand. Okay. Okay. Yeah. If you want try it out, you can try it with me. Hmm? If you want try it out, you can try it out along with me. Yeah, yes. sure. This is a quite important topic in the today's market. <laughs> hmm? This is a quite important topic to in today's market. Oh. Okay. Containerization. Mm, yeah, yeah I'm a, I heard about this container actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This concept is uh, more clear. The concept is okay now. How it's working, right? As we yeah, yeah. I need to revisit it again. Let me, okay. okay. Let, okay. Let me type ECS. ECS, right? Elastic and Rest Services. Mm. Okay, mm. you can see cluster name, space, task definition, everything, right? Mm. So you can see the repositories. I mean, it's easier, right? Let me open this. Yeah, it's easier. Mm. Open this one. Yeah. So we go here, repositories. There's no repository, right? Mm. So even if I just like test one. Mm. So if you want to create repository, you can create example create repository. So we have private and public repository. So you can have like a private uh, repository. Mm -hmm. Okay, rest of the link is default value. Mm -hmm. We say create repository. Okay. That's it. The repository got created. Okay. Now if you want to push mm -hmm. some images from your local to here, okay, how it's possible means you have to Go for a view push commands. Push command, okay. Yeah. For the so based on the Windows or Linux, okay. If you are Linux, okay. So we have to put this password. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, using our we, what are the IAM we already have, right? You need to have this access. So you need to uh, put this here to authenticate it. After that, we need to build some image if you want, or if you have all the image uh, there in your Docker, so you can uh, tag that uh, image, mm -hmm. okay. And you get to push it here. Once you push, the image will be available here. You can see your image there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nothing but like a, so the Docker, I say Docker Hub, right? They're storing for the images. Let me find mm -hmm. Docker Hub. You want your Docker credentials. Is it the same as the thing? The same as here, actually, yes. So this is a Docker up, right? So I can see. If you want to have some, if you want to create a repository, you can create a repository. So namespace, 
Okay, something. The same way, public and private rights. The private creates. So, your uh, repository got created in Docker Hub. Right? Similarly, the same service available here is a ECR, Elastic Container Registry. So, here we have created a repository. We can store our image here and we can uh, use this image for uh, enlarging containers, containers in our account. You got it, right? I need to create a Docker Hub. No, no, you don't. Docker Hub, you need to sign up your account if you want to log in. Okay, just the signing up, that's it, huh? Just the signing up is enough, actually. With your okay. user password, that's enough. You can create a repository and you can, you know, later you can, you can install Docker desktop, you know, machine and you can try to Docker push, Docker pull from these images locally. Okay. Got it, right? But this is a concept how it's working. This is a repository. Okay. But it's not an AWS, sir. Eh? It's not an AWS. Docker, as the Docker is containerization, right? The third party tool, right? Okay. Okay. So that's Docker Hub. Okay. They have the registry Docker Hub. AWS mm -hmm. now with, have, having a similar services. Mm -hmm. So AWS, if he has a Docker Hub, you store the images, uh, right? Similarly, in the AWS, we have the ECR, as a container registry. Where we have to, uh, you know, um, we can manage our images. Okay. Got it, right? Uh, yeah. Let's see, containerization, right? So, let me take the screenshot. So, <clears throat> let me also you're done. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Okay. Let's see. Uh, switch to classic view. Okay. This will help us to understand better. Okay. Okay. Uh, and and the easiest. Let me. Uh, one second. Uh, I just logged into Docker. It is required. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Maybe during your hands-on session, right? So maybe in the lab session, that time I, I can try to you know complete this one. Talk around. Oh, okay. Push so it is not required now, huh? Uh, not required right now. We are going to uh, you know use a pre-template, uh, you know Amazon one. Okay, fine. So now uh... and just in yeah. you know configure it and during our uh, you know, hands-on lab, right? Like uh, after uh, all the theoretical. You have uh, mm -hmm. like more than 15 plus uh, answer labs. At that time, take, I'll cover this thing. Okay. How to push and pull image okay. local here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now ECS. Uh, I need to create ECS. ECS huh? it started. So we need to create ECS. Okay. Uh -huh. Go to ECS. There you can see uh, mm -hmm. new ECS experience. Disable that one. No. Uh, it's, it's, let's change it to Mumbai region first. Okay. Mumbai. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mumbai region. Okay, disable this option. It will take the previous uh, you know console. Okay, I didn't get that. Where is it disabled? Okay, new okay. new assistant, right? Yeah, got it. Yes, they developed the you know this uh, dashboard. Okay, okay, uh, but uh, you know old one is much better than this section. Oh, is it okay? <laughs> it's okay. easy to understand. For uh, specifically for the beginners, right? This is easy to understand. Mm -hmm. Okay, put it get started. Okay. So we need, we are going to launch a container here, right? So yeah. we need, in order to launch a container in uh, Amazon ECS, okay, first need to have container definition. Definition nothing but uh, our image. Okay. So, yeah, Amazon itself has some e, uh, predefined image available. Let me mm -hmm. use. We can use sample app. Okay. This image is still TBD. Okay. Memory is 0.5 GB mm -hmm. and CPU is like a, a, a less than 2 UCP, 2, okay, 0.25 UCP, okay. Let mm -hmm. will create this one. The task definition. If you want, you can you know, uh, modify the task definition. 
let me give okay edit rifle demo network mode is vpc okay tax execution rule i think you're not able to see some rule right uh, or else we can create create new one network mode okay yeah uh, i am not looking. create new one so where exactly i can create it is not showing anything what is showing currently value uh, you are you are giving permission to elastic container service to create and use ecs task execution role yeah yeah choose that one i mean there is nothing to choose actually oh really can you please share your screen Let's see. okay let me stop share read only kind of thing yeah. hold on okay uh you are giving permission but okay yeah that's so fine so myself i know i already tested here yeah? so that's reason i have executed rule so the that means okay. you are saying you're going to create only a task issue rule here okay right yeah uh, even compatibility status of fargate that yeah fargate we are going to use fargate that means uh, we don't want to going uh, um, manage ec2 Arabs itself they are managing your uh, EC2. Okay, they'll back and they are managing. Okay. okay, I think task memory okay. is the same. Go save, click save, mm -hmm. save, uh, okay. and save, and go next. Okay. Next. So now you can see top. You can see two things are green, right? Contain definition and task definition got filled. Next, we integrate okay. service. Task. Right, the service. Mm. Let's see. We can create an application called balance again. Load balance okay. type. Uh, edit. Edit. No need actually. You can just type here. Okay. But if you want to edit the desired task, that's fine. But one one task is enough for us. Okay. Okay. One task is then one container. Okay. And load balancer is for ATS HTTP. Okay. Do next. You can see okay. service also created. Now the custom name. Okay. Create a custom name. Anything you want. Okay, click next. Okay. So what will happen like hold on? It will create new VPC for us. Okay, and new C mm -hmm. separate for us. It will take everything. Take care of everything. Okay. Click next. Okay. All are done. Yeah. Review and okay. Great. Great. It'll take time to create. It'll take uh quickly five minutes. Ten minutes. Oh, it's say ten minutes. Maximum time is 10 minutes. Okay. Okay. Let's wait for this to complete. Okay. Okay. And parallel it, uh, try to create a table resource. Okay. Uh, let me stop sharing that. Okay. Let me know if you're able to see my screen. Yes, I'm able to see. Okay. Minus of the printing. Okay. Going good. Come back to our slide. Yeah, we create a switch to classic view. This start an ECS cluster, and it's simple as this. Step three: connect to our AWS. The ECS, right? We want yeah. to stop, then we'll connect to our ECS. Okay. Come back to here, then then we case cluster. We have to go into create our uh, configure cluster, create EC to node, connect to our ECS, ECS, ECS cluster, right? Yeah. Let go to I think. It's Almost completed. Right? So we without switching classic view, we'll be get will not be getting the same options. The same no no. Uh, it will get the same option, but we need to do a different way. Okay. It takes some time actually. It, uh, the config itself we need at least ten minutes, mm -hmm. and you know it's it not easy to understand. Okay. But once you familiar this uh, option, then we can try it on the option. Oh, okay. 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 Maybe during our uh, you know um, sessions, uh, we'll uh, pushing and pulling image right. That time we can use the that one. Okay, okay it, this takes some time. Let's go back to my six. 
Yes, yes. It's getting greater. Task definition. Huh? Yeah, yeah. About yours is getting greater, getting greater, right? Uh, yeah. I mean, the seven out of ten completed. Oh, hold on, hold on for them. Even I, mine also is getting greater. Okay, let uh, look for some time. It's done, cluster. Mine is not. What about yours? Uh, nothing. But hmm. okay, you you created a cluster also. It's cluster or default created, right? Well, creating settings no. itself. I don't have cluster. Create cluster. Showing me create cluster. Hold on. The more yeah, let's go to. Okay, mine is completed now. Okay. Easiest. It's easier completed, right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. Minus sample lab contained definition. You can open it, you can get the public public IP of the instance. Uh, right. So nothing on the cluster. You not able to see anything cluster? Nothing, nothing on the cluster end. Mm -hmm. It it's showing completed. Uh. Share screen. Yeah. Let's see what's happening here. Okay. 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 Everything's completed, right? Load balance hold on. So you're already there in here actually. Copy the load balancer. Last, last, right? Okay, yeah. Just copy this. Copy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, okay. Those are there, right? Yeah. Load balancer there. Hmm. Okay, it's active, right? Okay, fine. Active, yes. Okay. okay. Go to uh go back DCS. View services. Which one? Services. V sir. View services, yeah. View services. Okay. View services. So you can see your demo cluster created. Mm. <coughs> right? Yeah. Okay. okay. Your talk group is this talk group and it is enabled. Come below. Don't do yeah, that. No option, right? Go to task. No. Okay. Okay. Open the task. Actually, W gates. Okay, you can see the public IP, right? Copy the public IP. This one. Yeah. And see it in a you know, browser, this uh, public IP. Okay. Right. Is it anyway? anyway yeah. Sample lab. No, you got it, right? Amazon ECS okay. sample lab. Congratulations. You got created. Similarly, you are a oh, ELB, right? Okay. ELB, uh, load balance creator, right? Mm. So, ALB. Copy the ALB, go to load balancer. You can cluster. cluster. Okay. Task dip, do, open it. Huh? No, 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 no. Double the demo cluster. Okay. Uh, you see a task actually. Task. So okay. you can see the running task on one, right? One target is running. <coughs> you mm -hmm. can open this mm -hmm. one. Okay, down below. You can see uh, ALB. Uh, 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 first running test there is no ELB here. No. Okay. Uh, hold on, hold on. So I think okay. go to ELB directly. I think next tab you already open. 
Okay. Okay. So, uh, uh, wait, 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 sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go to EC2. Sorry, uh, load balancer uh, available under EC2. Okay. Load balancer and security groups, right? These are the available under EC2s. Oh, okay. Yeah, my everything. Go to load balancer. Uh, load balancer. Yeah. Region, region. Oh. Change your region. Region, okay. Oh, my. Yeah. I don't want to agree. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Copy the DNS name. DNS name, okay. Open this one. Let's try that. <coughs> yeah. Okay. <coughs> now, we we using a predefined uh, image. We are you know, configured. Right? Yeah. This is the easiest working. Okay. <coughs> okay. Now you have some idea, right? I was working back in. Yeah. It, everything is so it is only taking care of. Yeah, everything they can take care of everything. They don't worry about okay. things. It is a Fargate model. If you launch EC2 model, then we need to take care of EC2. Okay. Only that different. So people are asking, like, what is the difference between a, a using, using EC2 and what is in Fargate? The Fargate means they'll take care of the underlying hardware. Infrastructure, they'll mm -hmm. take care of the things. Okay. Okay. All in fact, it will take care of fragment. Yeah. Fragment. Yeah. What is that? Fargate. 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 Okay. Fargate. 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 <coughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. So mine is not created actually. What I did actually, would <coughs> I cancel? I think I came. No. Uh -huh. I visited the uh, index sure. tab, so my mine is cancelled. But it's okay. You got explained now, right? Let me. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When, what when happened? Say, you cancelled in between, huh? Yeah, yeah. See, uh, this is on my time, right? You're not able to see anything. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. In between, I think I cancelled. Why? You cancelled? No, no. I did mistake. Let's see. Mm. Uh, <laughs> there's no task, right? You can able to, uh, from your case, uh, you, you can see the task, right? The task running. Mm. But it's not running. That's fine. Okay. Let Let's see if I EKS now. Okay. Okay. You can type EKS. Elastic Community Service. One second. One second. One second. EKS, right? Yeah. Terminator. Yeah. yeah. What's wrong? Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what are we going to do? We are going to configure cluster and create EC2 node, connect to EKS cluster, right? Mm. So first let's configure. You can create our cluster. Create it. Okay. Yeah. Cluster configuration. So name. So you can go default equipment version. Mm -hmm. I think for you the rule is not there, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, blank. Yeah. Uh, maybe there you can go to IAM. IAM. Huh? Yeah. <clears throat> or is there any option to create a role here itself? No, it is not giving me any, any option. Oh. Go to IAM. Yeah. Uh, okay. Create a new role. Role. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. When, okay. Create role. Okay. Create new uh, role. AWS service. Yeah. AWS. Oh, hold on. Can you share your screen? Oh, yeah. yeah sure. Yeah. yeah. Okay, AWS services under service use case, type EKS. I can choose EKS also. 
y qué es. Y que es, okay. Ah, y que es. Ok. 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 Uh, y que es iPhone Cluster, second one. Ok. Click next. Ok. That's fine. Next. Ok. Uh, can I tell your role name? Uh, ok. Ok. Click next. Okay. Uh, create role. Right? Yeah, create role. Okay. okay. Now come back to the uh, EKS cluster window. You can refresh it. You can see the role. Yeah. 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 And the secret right. encryption. Yeah, default. Like we got default value. Next. <coughs> okay. VPC. Uh, yeah. We will go for default for testing. Oh, you only can. Demo also can create it. Um, yeah. yeah, go for demo then. Or demo oh, VPC. Uh, uh, subnets, you can okay, see two the subnets. Subnet, uh, <coughs> yeah, one A, one B. One A, one B. Public, right? Yeah, public is enough. Okay. Okay. Two subnets. Okay. Mm -hmm. Security group. If you want, uh, can use some default security group. Default or a container? This is... ELP just closed. What is this? That's ELP... fine. Any is a group. I think I've both or the da, 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 da. I think we can choose default. Later, if you want, we can you know, modify the things. Okay. Choose okay. Okay, patient four. That's enabled. Okay, IPC. fine. Cluster okay. endpoints. Cluster endpoints. You can go with public. the public and this is how the application is right? Public and private as well. Hold on. Hmm. Public. Yeah, we can choose public. Click next. Okay. okay. We do not going to enable this thing since uh, okay. it is class where we can this. We can next. Hmm. Yeah, by default, they will create this thing, the VPC CNI, code DNS, code proxy, okay? You can go with next. Okay. So we can, that was the next actually. Default value. Okay. Default, default values, okay. Yeah, default, default value. Mm, thanks. Let's see, <coughs> we create. So by default, okay. It's creating. So, okay, creating, right? Okay. Let's see our step actually what we did. So, we are created cluster. Now, we need to create an EC2 node. Okay. Creating. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hold on. Let They wait for some time to available. Yeah. Yeah. It comes active mode. Okay. Yes, okay. Meanwhile, uh, can you install this kubectl? Which one? Kube, kubectl. Kubectl. Yeah, yeah, I can bring you the link actually. If you want. Oh, yeah. Type kubectl for Windows. Q. K, K U. Kubectl. CTL. Ah, CTL. Okay. Yeah, for Windows. Okay. For Windows, right? Okay. Yeah, for Windows. This to interact with our uh, you know, Kubernetes cluster. Okay. So this is the one or uh, 
download red test yeah this one actually i think what they saying so in the chocolate tree so da, 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 da. there's two more options two option one is curl <coughs> binary and another is in using chocolate tree maybe second option let's see this one yeah this one okay okay choco install da, da, da. let's see it's installed your machine okay. I don't think it is installed in my let, system. Let, let's see. Choco install. Try. The PowerShell actually. Open the PowerShell. I can try. Yeah, yeah, I can try. The Choco not install. Leave it install oh, Choco. Yeah. Open the PowerShell. Yeah. Yeah. This one? Yeah. Sure. It's supposed to be downloaded, right? No, yeah. yeah. Okay, Chaco is not there, I think. So you need to install Chaco then first. Hold on, hold on. First, another common problem you can see how to install Chaco. Yeah. You know, in first you need to install Chaco, right? Okay, we know chocolate. Okay. Yeah, let me see the command. Install Choco Windows. This is not required. The binary with the curl on Windows. Yeah, that we need a Linux actually. This is the best step actually. Let's see. This is one. No, only we need to install Choco. That's fine. Let me put it. Let me give the command. Okay. Then the follow insert portion.exe. Okay, in the chat window, let me paste it. Chat, chat. Yeah, I paste one command. So just copy and put it in your uh, mission PowerShell command. Okay. Administrative permission now. Please run the, uh, run the okay. administrator. No? I need to run uh, this as an administrator. They run as administrator in the open PowerShell type PowerShell right click and run as administrator. As administrator. Okay. I think done anything, right? What's called some better? Existing record destination detected. This is not continued. We put in installation. Okay, I think it's installed. Let's see. Shoko. Type Shoko, S H O. Yeah, C O. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Enter, enter it. Still is under rating. Okay, enter the chocolate itself. The Just back of file. <coughs> so what's saying? Should not recognize name. <clears throat> so here, if there is no chocolate installation, in the folder not on the installation again. Okay. You go to program the C program data chocolatey. If you see anything, you can delete that thing. The folder. Oh. Program page. Chocolatey. No. 
see right now one thing. They're saying program data. Program data, okay. To the part, yeah. Yeah, delete the chocolate. Yeah, delete the folder. Delete the folder. Huh? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, can open a is a Windows a submission? Yes. Now again, I need to try. Yeah, yeah, you can try. Yeah, let's see. Yeah, now it is inside. Great. Now the chocolate is installed, right? Now we can install um, that uh, CubeCTN. Yeah, it's already there. Hmm. Okay. So you can install CubeCTN. So, um, this one, on the phone. What is this? Hmm. This is creating back to. Okay. Fine. Go to CubeCTN. Yeah. Which one? No, no. Go to command the exit. Uh, no. PowerShell. PowerShell. Okay. Yeah. And uh, there is coming a chalk to install QBCT in it. Okay. Yeah. So now? Mm, okay. Hold on. Yeah. Let's see. Ping is it. QBCT for Windows. <laughs> Okay, Choco installed. Uh, okay, Kubernetes second CLA. Some clients. Oops. This will not work in the uh, command prompt. Huh? This will work actually once you install Choco. Okay. So we installed Choco using uh, this one, right? Mm -hmm. This will work in command prompt. But we need to work in uh, administrator mode. Huh? Yeah, yeah. For this installing this alone. Okay, okay. Let me ping you on uh, one more command. Keep it here. Chat to interact with this. Chat window. Where is chat window? Okay, here. Yeah. yeah, now a patient command, right? Make sure that one. Yes. <coughs> Only <coughs> instruction of um, Choco that requires for admin probably. It doesn't require yeah, installing Choco only did our actually. We just run another command to check if it's installed. Keep serial version I find client. Okay. Mm -hmm. Where is yours? Let ping you that command also. Once it's downloaded. Okay, wait for some time. Meanwhile, uh, no, we are the now the Kubernetes cluster is active, right? We have created one node and uh, top of that. Oh, what happened? No, maybe the permission still denied. So we installed this thing using a uh, uh, same uh, portion. Uh, Choco install Kubernetes, right? Yeah. Open a PowerShell as administrator and put this command. Choco install the Kubernetes CLA. Uh, copy, yeah. Okay. 
not allowing you to fit. Oh. You chose CO, correct? So you install. So double K, you're putting double K. N E N E Q bar net is N you put an E actually. Yeah. Q bar. N E T E S. Yeah, I found C L I. Yeah. Enter. Yes. Okay. Okay, done. So now cube cube CTL. Type cube CTL. Cube CTL. Cube. Yeah. Cube CTL. Space version. Iphone iPhone client. Okay, great. Now you have QCT install. Okay, let's create a node group. Okay, top of our uh, cluster. Go to compute. Open this uh, cluster. Open the cluster. Double click on the cluster name. Go to compute. Okay, there you can see node or node group, right? Yeah. You can create a node group. So if you want to create, you can forget also, but we are going to create a node group. Okay. okay. <coughs> node group. Type your name, anything. Node. Role. Okay. Role. Similarly, open IM role in another window. Yeah. Create new role. Uh, under, you can type EC2. Because since we are going to use uh, EC2. Type EC2. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, uh, next. Okay, hold on, let we need to attach some policy. I think you did that. Type Amazon EKS, I can see an I think you did that. Yes, yeah, got it. Yeah, CNI, right? Okay, select first one. First, first one, okay. And cluster policy, second one. Second one, first one, first one. Okay, CNI, first one, first one, EKS, worker node policy. Worker node policy, last one. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and uh, type another Amazon EC2 container registry. EC2, type EC2. EC2, yeah, the third one. Read yeah, this this to you know, read our images. Okay, you next. Okay, any role name? Okay. <coughs> okay, great. Mm -hmm. Maybe node group something. Yeah. Okay, go back to your node group. Refresh it. Yeah, set this role. So launch template, we are not going to launch templates. Okay, that's our default. So okay, there's a default. Click next. Okay, A my type. The next two. Yeah, first one. Okay. And capacity on mode. Okay, it's just type T3 medium. So if you use T3 medium, they'll charge you. Let's see, we'll create a T2 or T3 micro or something. T2 micro. T2 micro, not T2 micro. Using instances as a way of scaling of loads. T2 micro. T2 micro. Okay, this is going demo, right? So that's fine. Because if you use another service, they'll charge us. Okay. Disk is 26, okay. 
this is size one make it one everything is one okay otherwise they create two loader for for you okay okay everything is one number one yeah this also one okay one next subnets by default also but we got to select it okay uh if you want to access node okay enable of ns not issue yeah when you enable then you need to put your key pair everything if you want to kind of see it instance to manage it right but you can disable it you're not going to kind this thing click next okay click me great It's creating, right? You need for. So we are creating a worker node here, right? Right. The cluster, the AWS taking care of the master node. You don't have to worry about the master nodes. Okay. Let's create one. Let's try to create this thing. It's creating, right? Creating and the refresh is there. Creation failed. Help issue. One or more is in separate. Group demo is not distorted. No, you have to copy the address. So, ta 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 ta. If not, you can copy the address. We should have to some data. Okay, okay. That means we are using a default subnet. The default subnet the sync that IP address enabled default. Okay. That is the use case. Either we need to go to subnet and enable this option. You know, copy the subnet. Okay. We know the subnet. Right? Go to VPC. VPC. Okay, subnets. The subnets, you know the subnets, right? A subnet. Public subnets. The two public and subnet, but the more public, right? Yeah, you can, or else you can put the sub, uh, no, subnet directly here. Uh, Need to search for this, sir. Uh, Which one? Yeah, yeah copy this. Right? Yeah, yeah, these are two. This one, these two. Yeah, these two. Okay, let's start to one by one. And select any one first. Go to uh, actions, edit subnet settings. Select this one. Okay, second one. Yeah, the auto enable autos in public address. Okay. Save it. Save it. Resource no, 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 that's not needed. Okay, for this also I need to know the same. Huh? Yeah. Okay. okay. Save it. Uh -huh. Yeah, save it. Now you can try. There is no group. I mean, delete. You have to delete this thing. You delete, huh? 
Ya. Okay. Ke... It's creating it. Compared to this easy and simple, right? <laughs> Creating, <Yeah>. managing. <laughs> yeah, only... automatically it is only taking care of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It will it'll take some time, EKS. Yeah. But yeah. in the real-time world, compared to easy EKS delivery, suit for the applications, care of everything. Okay, so <clears throat> they will not create separately. They will they will uh, oh. do it like this only, so that it will be taken care automatically. Correct, correct. So then final part on self actually let's see not ready let us you should create it no even mine also are getting created okay. so another thing if you if you use the default vpc na, it will uh, come for very fast come but our, our thing so, oh okay okay mm -hmm. Okay, active. Active, right? Awesome. Now we created. Let's see, let to connect to, let's try to connect this uh, table days from our local desktop, right? Hmm. Go to command prompts. Okay. <laughs> and here we just configure. Let's see which configure, which IAM we have. Yeah. Okay, mine is having admin access. What about yours? Uh, AWS, right? AWS. Yeah. This, this is. I think enter. Do you enter? Enter, enter. Okay, let's see. AWS, yes, yes, get iPhone, call iPhone, and let's see. Get iPhone. STS, get iPhone, caller, identity. Um, Let me ping you that command. Yeah. Got it. Got it, right? Which one? Yours? 
so yes you also root so you have access okay. to everything right okay let's see let uh, we need to connect this cluster right yeah so let me ping you on link actually it will show you how to connect this one not to enter to create a cube config file let me ping you that thing yeah open this url in browser Okay, so we then actually get content. We need to create a cube file automatically to uh, how to connect our cluster. Okay, copy this command. Okay, in Notepad, somewhere you can paste it, and you need to update your uh, region and your cluster name. Region code uh, region is I think API iPhone South iPhone one. Uh, API iPhone South iPhone one. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> okay. okay. And name. Okay, my cluster, cluster name. No, not easy. No, not easy. It's EKS, not EKS. This is easiest one. No, not here. EKS. Yeah, it will be confused, right? ECS, EKS. <laughs> okay. This is the one, right? Name, yeah, name one, right? Name, name only. Okay. Okay. okay, replace your name. One prompt. Okay, enter it. Okay, now it's created uh, to uh, authenticate your, uh, your uh, cluster. Let's see. Cube CTL, type Cube CTL. Get mm. node. Mm. Oh. Oh, this is no, no, this is like a, no, yeah that also can use yeah test SVC. cube ctl so you are getting your plus ip from here okay let me uh, ping you one more command Chat window. Da, 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 da. Get node. Type this command. Get node. Okay. 